water. Every resident of Florida uses almost 100 gallons of fresh water in their home each day. That means the typical family of four uses 400 gallons of water every day. Water for cooking. Water for bathing. Water for cleaning. But where does the water go after it's been used? This film tells the story of how some of the water that we use is returned to the environment in a way that benefits both the natural ecosystem and Florida residents. In the mid-1980s, the city of Orlando needed to increase the wastewater treatment capacity of the Iron Bridge Water Reclamation Facility in order to cope with expected population growth. The Orlando Easterly Wetlands, more popularly known as the Orlando Wetlands Park, was located on 1,650 acres of pasture land that had once been a wet prairie bordering the St. Johns River. Earth and berms were raised inside the park, creating 17 separate cells. A series of wares were constructed through the berms to control the flow of water. It takes approximately 30 days for reclaimed water to work its way through the park. This design allows time for natural biological processes to remove nitrogen and phosphorus from treated wastewater. At the end of its month-long journey through the Orlando Wetlands Park, the cleaned water is collected and discharged into the St. Johns River waterway. To ensure water quality meets or exceeds all local, state, and federal standards, the Wastewater Division of the Orlando Public Works Department tests water quality each day. In addition, to ensure the efficient removal of undesirable nitrogen and phosphorus, each of the 17 cells within the Orlando Wetlands Park must be cleaned periodically. It is this process of cell cleaning or cell renovation that is the subject of our conversation with Mark Seeds, manager of the Orlando Wetlands Park. Mark, once the decision is made to renovate a given cell, how do you begin the process? The first thing that we would do is remove the water from the area that we will be demucking. And the way that we do that is to raise the weir that allows the water to flow into the cell. After shutting off the incoming flow, we will lower the weirs allowing the water to discharge out of the cell. What are the steps involved with removing the plants and muck after the water has been removed from a cell? The first thing that we will do is establish ingress and egress points for the earth moving equipment. Once the places are identified and created, it's time to install rim ditches. Large tracked excavators begin the process of digging ditches throughout the wetland cell. Once all the ditches are installed, large hydraulic pumps are brought in and set up to pump out the remaining water. When the water levels within the ditches have dropped, we are now ready to begin the initial stripping. Large bulldozers are brought in and they begin to push and pile all of the plants and muck into long linear rows. The excavators also work to strip and clear away brush and unwanted vegetation. They are also useful in helping to pile and stack the muck and plants into higher piles. Once the piles and rows are created, water will drain from the roots and the muck, so it is essential to continually clean and maintain the rim ditches. Once the piles, or windrows as we call them, have dried a bit, they will be turned over once or twice to help them thoroughly dry out. When the muck is dry, it's time to bring in the articulating dump trucks. This begins the longest phase of the project. It takes a lot of time to load out and remove all of the muck and organic debris. The trucks carry the muck to a disposal site within the wetlands park. 
Once all of the material has been removed, it is time for the final grading. Surveyors then come in and shoot elevations and map the topography of the cell to ensure that it is level. After all of these steps have been finished, it is time to re-flood. Control structures are lowered, which allow the water to begin to flow in. And that rehydrates the cell. After more than two decades of service, the Orlando Wetlands Park has proven that properly managed man-made wetlands can be used for the advanced treatment of wastewater in a way that serves the needs of a growing population and benefits the natural environment. We hope you enjoy your visit to the Orlando Wetlands Park. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>